Mathematics at the same truth history. I'm reloaded. New shot. The hundred and fifth and first avenue. Officially known as DJ K Slay. Great. Let's go. because we want to make sure that future generations understand what talent, right, the people that, that cemented their roots here in East Harlem or throughout the city, who they were. In a Real quick, we need y'all to step back because we got to set this tent and keep it true to the culture. Y'all want this equipment to melt and it's over? Bars. Ah. Now, a lot of people in the hip-hop world first seen K-Slay when he brung out Papoose. But what really got his name buzzing is when he made this mixtape with the Alpo audio from the inside. Mind you, his mixtapes was floating all through New York City long before that mixtape. And he also was known for doing parties all over New York City. It came to the point where if you wasn't on DJ K Slay's mixtapes, you wasn't street certified. Now DJ K Slay wasn't your average DJ. You could have actually bumped into him in real life. You could have seen him at the fish market getting fish, getting food from wherever. You could have even seen him in the mixtape spots getting mixtapes for himself. He was that real. Most importantly, he gave chances to the little guy that's just trying to get his music out there, that's out there grinding their mixtapes. He gave chances to them dudes. And you could find a lot of them dudes on these mixtapes that I'm showing y'all right here. He kept that classic New York City sound going. Long live DJ K Slay. You already know, this is the Meth Lab. Uh. Mathematics entertainment truth history.